how to get to the city from this Singapore Changi Airport? By the public bus, the MRT train, the taxi, or the private hire. And in this video, I'm going to show you how and where to take your transport from. The terminal 2 changes quite a lot. Right now, they are under renovation. So if we are going to head towards the city train, we have to... So in Singapore, there are a total of four different terminals. There is a Terminal 1, Terminal 2, Terminal 3, and Terminal 4. So I'm going to um, translate them all in a single terminal and put a different timestamp down below. So if there's any useful information or useful apps that I would recommend, I'll put them down in the description box. So make sure to check out the description box. So now let's start with the topic blast. I'm going to show it to you all now. And you arrive at Terminal 1. This is the arrival hall, which is right behind me. And you walk out. You can just either go to the left or the right by looking at the signboard over here. It will ask you to go to the escalator right in the middle where you can see there's an information counter. So it's right over there, the information counter. And move towards the escalator which is just beside it. That's where you take your escalator to the bus interchange at Terminal 1. Over here, you are able to take the bus 24, 27, 34, 36, 53, 410, 858 from this bus interchange. And if you have any issue with finding where you are going to head to for the bus, you can either use the Google map or you can come over to this uh, information board right up here. They will normally show you which um, place they are heading to by linking to it on the road. They will show it all to you. So if you have any issue, just come over to the information board. You are able to find all the information you need for taking the bus over here. It's at the basement of the Terminal 1, which is in between the Terminal 1 and Jewel. So if you are from the arrival hall, you just head over to the Jewel sign, which is a really large sign in between the Terminal 1 and also the Jewel. And that's where it will show you the direction towards the taxi stand and it will lead you down a very long travel later and you will see this really large um, hill riding which is supported by four different companies in Singapore and that's where you are at the right place don't go towards the long pathway or the underground pathway just head down again to the travel later and it will bring you to here which is the taxi stand right behind me so over here the yellow one is the taxi stand and the white one is the priority taxi stand for that people with um, movement impaired or um, elderly that's when you are entitled for the priority queue over here in the taxi stand so now i'm going to bring you to the um, private hire the grab you will have to go to the opposite side of the taxi um, stand which is right over here and you should be able to see the jewel right here the basement and you know that you are at the right place to take your private hearing and over here, you are able to take your Grab, your Gojet, the Dada, and one more that I can't remember the name. But honestly, Grab is the largest in Singapore. So you can um, take this as a tips and recommendation that just download a Grab and it should serve you quite well in Singapore throughout if you are going to uh, mainly using the private hire. Here are the pricing for the private hire. There's the A, which is the city shuttle, which is a mini bus. And also there's a large taxi, which is the B, and C, which is the Lumosini, which is like a four-wheel drive. Here. So over here, you will just head towards this side of the taxi queue. And it will bring you to the private hire pick up area. Over here at the waiting area for the private hire, you also have these kind of like soft, uh, moody kind of seats for you to sit on. And also there's a plug right over here, the USB plug that enable you to charge your electronics. Depending on where you are at your current location, if you are facing the departure hall at the T1 terminal, on your left will be the SkyTrain to the 
Terminal 3. Your right will be this SkyTrain to Terminal 2. So if we are um, facing the jewel or the um, exit of Terminal 1 main entrance, the left side would be the T2 uh, SkyTrain while the right side would be your SkyTrain towards the Terminal 3. And over there I will show you how do you get to the MRT trains that lead you to the city. From the arrival hall, turn to the right side and you will see the UOB on your right and on the left there's a like Kyoso for Changi recommendation where those guys will be wearing blue colour shirt. Right behind them there's an escalator. Head down to it, stairways and turn to the left. After that, you will walk through this really um, quiet pathway and you walk all the way straight and it will lead you to this place where you can see this colour green and orange colour sign with blinking lights and you know that you're at the right place. All you have to do is walk down straight towards this area and turn to your left. You will be at your CC2 which is the Changi MRT station. But if you are going to let me choose right, I personally think that if you are going to walk from the um, departure hall it's a lot more easier compared to trying to walk to the uh, uh, and my decision from the arrival hall. The terminal 2 changed quite a lot. Right now they are under renovation. So if we are going to head towards the CB train, you have to um, walk towards the left side if you are facing the departure hall. And you will see this uh, these two pathway which there's a lot of renovation going on right now. Go all the way straight down. Once you walk all the way straight until a T junction, you will turn to the right side. And after that, you walk straight and turn to the left. And you should see this little signboard that show a lot of blinking colours, the green and the orange colour. Similar to the arrival hall towards the MRT station for the Terminal 2, this time now you do not turn to the left but you turn to the right where you see a very, very large signboard that show you the bus A is located at in Terminal 2. Over here, there's bus 24, 27, 34, 36, 53, 110, 858 which is all similar to Terminal 1 bus that are available over here. So if you are again need any information just look for the directory over here and you are able to find um, where does most of the bus brings you to. If you are looking for a taxi or the private hire it's a lot a lot more easier compared to other terminals in the terminal 2 all you have to do is look for the gate 6 which is just directly in front of the arrival exit and go straight down and you will see the private hire like the grab the go jet and also the shuttle bus they are all located at the same location which is at gate 6 so for you to look for the taxi the go jet and the private hire is very very, very easy in terminal 2 it's all located very near to your arrival hall. All that is troublesome is most likely to get to the MRT from Terminal 2. For the T3 is one of the easiest to locate the MRT station. From the arrival hall, turn to the left and walk all the way straight where you will see the T3 D-slide and you know you are very near to the MRT station. From there, walk straight where you will see this escalator and head down and turn to the right. Isn't that one of the most easiest and fastest to get to the MRT station. So if you are from um, maybe T4, you can try going to the T3 to look for the MRT station. There are a total of two taxi stands in Terminal 3 Arrival Hall exit. Each of the exit, there's one taxi stand in front of it. And also over here is where you take your airport transfer, where there's a seven-seater taxi cab and also long bus which are catered to you based on your needs and your wants. Similarly to other terminal, there's also priority queue and also the normal queue over here. And let's head over to the basement one where I will show you where to take your grab in Terminal 3. So once you head down to the very very long travelator, you will reach the gate 2 and over here is where you wait for your grab, go jet or your pickup car. From the arrival hall, look for the money exchange where there's an escalator that will lead you down two level. And after that, head towards the Swenson and turn to the left where you go straight. You will see this Guardian store. This is where the bus bay is located. And over here is similar to T1 and T2. 
that plus 24, 27, 34, 36, 53, 110, 858, which are available here in the bus bay. So if you want any information, all the details will be down in the description box below and you can go and find any useful information that you all need via any transport that you find over here in this video. Let's start with how do you get to the MRT from the Terminal 4. Going to the MRT station is slightly tricky for you if you are arriving through Terminal 4 because it's not connected in any way to the other three terminals which is the 1, 2 and 3 what you have to do is that you have to take this shuttle bus which is right over here it's all the way on the right when you come up from the arrival hall and over here do make sure that you look properly because there's a left and right the left side will be to the T1 and Jewel while the right side is to the T3 and also the T2 where the MRT is located at because the MRT is in between the T3 and T2. Personally, I would recommend you to alight at T3 because the alighting place is just directly beside the escalator towards the MRT station, which is super convenient compared to the T2, which you all can have a look at the T2 way to get to the MRT train. You will find it a bit troublesome especially if you are carrying a lot of luggage. So my personal tips and recommendation to you, which you all can um, take into consideration when you are arriving through T4 and you are heading to a city by MRT. Over here is the arrival hall for the belt 1 to 4 and the exit. After that, walk straight out and you will see the taxi stand over here. This is where you are able to take your taxi at terminal 4. So if you are going to go to the um, private hire, which is the Grab and Go Jet, you have to head over here, which is on the left. When you turn to your left from the arrival hall at the belt 1 to belt 4, the first thing that you will see is the airport transfer, which you will find it over here where they have the 7-seater, 6-seater and also the um, direct bus transfer to your city hotel. Actually, they don't come in a um, price that is really acceptable for majority but it's one of the options for you if you are having a lot of luggage. To locate the busway in Terminal 4, there will be quite a long walk. First, you have to head towards the left side from the arrival or go down the escalator from the Changi Recommendation booth after that, you will see this really nice Mura pathway where they show a lot of authentic Singapore food that you can find. That's where you are at the right place. You will see this lead. It's something like a cargo lead. You will just go to level 1, which you will turn to the right, and you will see this car park bay. So that cross the road, and it will be at here, which is where all the bus is located at for the T4 bus bay. Over here, you have bus 24, 34, 36 one, one, zero, near to the SAS in-flight catering center one. You can also take the bus 27, 53, 858. So there's actually two bus bay. Here. And depending on where you are going to, definitely you need some info. Over there, there's some um, directory, like in those panel, which will show you where the buses are heading to. But if you need any information, I'll put them down below so that you all can um, use your phone and directly navigate through for your bus ride. There's two kinds of taxis available. There's the regular taxi and also the premium taxi. The flag now fare for the regular taxi is 390 to 410 and the distance rate is 0 0.24 to 0 0.27 cents. And they say four seater regular taxi while the premium taxi the frag down fare is 410 to 5 dollars with a distance rate of 0 0.33 to 0 0.35 cents which is uh, normally the Toyota Camry, Mercedes Benz or a larger taxi so the middle fare are metered at all taxi stand at Changi Airport so it's daily from 5 p.m. to 11.59 is $8 and all times is $6 and 
The flag down fare is $3.90 to $5. The distance rate is counted by first 10 km is 0.24 to 0.35 cents for every 400 meters. After the 10 km, the fare will be 0.24 to 0.35 for every 350 meters. So basically, the rate is not changed but the meter actually changed by 50 meters. So do take note when you are taking taxi in Singapore. Well, if you are going to take the private hire, like the Grab, Gojek, the Ray and Tada, first they only took the Grab before. They come in a fixed rate where they will show you, even if you are on a traffic jam, you are still paying this exact same amount that is being indicated in the apps. If you are fear of having the jam, in town area or the place that you're going to visit, then why not go for a grab? There are two ways for you to pay for the bus and also the MRT ticket, which is the EasyLink card. And also you can pay by via the MasterCard or Visa card. If you have this with thing on your card, the pay with this is the two ways of you paying the bus and also the MRT tickets. So now right now I'm going to show you how to uh, buy an easing card or get a one-time ticket over at the vending machine. You can either go to this location which is a passenger service where you can get the stuff to help you get the easing card. Just recently found out that there's no more single trip card available at the MRT station which they don't sell it anymore. So what you can do is actually get your Visa or MasterCard. As long as there's cashless payment, you're able to pay with it for your single trip. Or else you're going to get the easing card from the QSO over here, the passenger service. And over there, the card will cost $10. The $5 is the credits, while the another $5 is for the price of getting the card. So this makes it uh, only $5 credit inside the easing card if you're going to get the $10 easing card, unless you're going to top it up. So, um, I would recommend that you all just use your contactless card, maybe the uh, Visa or MasterCard. It will be a lot more easier. And don't worry, the transaction fee is not that high, and also there's no additional charges. Like, not that high actually. I personally use the contactless a lot, and it's very convenient. I can pay with my phone, like the Apple Pay, and also the Google Pay is super duper conv uh, convenient. I like it a lot. All you have to do is just scan your face or scan your uh, finger or even use your iWatch and use the uh, Apple Pay. That's also easy to be paid now using this. So for the bus, also same. You can go to a bus station, go to a passenger service and get your um, easing card, the $10 one. Both of them are the same for the MRT and the bus. It's really convenient. And also if, if you are coming at different timing, I will list down the link down below in the description box and you all click over and go and find the last train and the first train for the MRT and also the first bus and last bus that are available starting from here at right, the Changi or maybe the Tanamera depend on where you are going to alight at for the MRT station but these are all the tips that I can really give it to you I've tried my best <laughs> to find all those tips and recommendations for you all who are visiting Singapore as a tourist and also help you out and have a great experience in Singapore. This is the entire map of the Singapore MRT station. Um, the, all the lines that are available, there are a total of um, purple, orange, blue, green and red plus the um, steel building, the brown line. So this is all the lines that are available in Singapore right now. So, if you are arriving in Singapore, this is where you will be at the CG2. You can go to two star line from this particular CG, which is the downtown line, the last one, the Expo, where it will bring you all the way to the um, central of Singapore, the city area, which is right over here, and also up to the north, west, over here. And if you are going to go to the green line, where you alight at Tanamera, which is the CG uh, first station, and also you go to EW4, which is the Tanamera. After that, you will head to the left side, where normally the tourists will stay around this area, or this is uh, quite an expensive area. 
So they will normally stay around this area or this area for the green area, green line. Or the blue, they will normally choose between the Chinatown, Bugis, and all this area, which is right over here. So you're going to locate where you will stay for your hotel and you can decide which line to go to. I hope by now you are able to get to the city from Singapore Changi Airport via different terminals on the kind of transport mode that you need. The bus, the train, the private hire or the taxi and the uh, airport transfer. Those are the few modes that are available here for the transport that brings you to the city from the Singapore Changi Airport. If I miss out any information or if they all have other inquiries regarding the Singapore, drop a comment down below and let me know and I'll try my best to help you out. And my name is Jin. I'll see you all again in the next video. Bye bye.